Hello my friends, welcome back to another review. Today we are reviewing this portable AC unit. Now what I really like just from the start with this unit is you can see I'm 5'9 and it's, it's small and compact. It has wheels already attached so it can move around freely which is really nice. Uh, weight wise it has a little bit of weight on it but there are some type of like little grooves in here that you can pick it up so it does have a little weight to it but not too bad uh, it does have a fairly long power cable as well which is really nice with the reset button on it so that's a big plus in my opinion so we're going to be testing out this unit with our power station this is a 1200 watt power station that way for those who are curious and want to know does it work with a power station well let's find out Okay, let's go ahead and go over a couple things. Make sure you remove all the green tape that you see around the unit. If you don't have nails, it might be a little hard to get that tape up, like me. <laughs> but make sure you remove all tape that you see, all the green tape around the unit. There's also going to be this gray tape. You can go ahead and remove that as well. So pretty much most of all the tape that you're going to see around the unit. And let's see. Yep, there's another piece on the other side. Okay, in the back of the unit, you're going to have some more tape. Probably four pieces. One, two, three, and four. This is the drain line, which is going to be right here. It says, please drain the water when the tank is full, then press the power button to turn the device on. So basically what that means is as you're running the unit and the tank gets full because there's a built-in tank, when the tank is full, it'll probably shut off. There's probably a sensor that shuts it off. And then what you'll do is you'll drain the tank so they provide you with a couple accessories here. You have your air hose for pulling in air from outside. So there's all your pieces that come with it. They give you a, a short drain line, which you can see in here. And of course your manual and remote control and some other accessories are inside here as well. But you would just simply connect that hose there and then drain it out. You can either drain it, you know, wherever, uh, you could drain it into a bucket, whatever works for you guys. This is the back here. Now this is all mesh filters, so you can easily take this off and clean it. it makes it really nice. So far, very nice little unit. Filter on the bottom here as well. Now when it comes to installing in your window, you can have it upright like this, or you can have it uh, left to right. I personally customize my own windows setups uh, differently than what the manual says. So you guys can follow the manual or you can customize it yourself, whatever works. It's a pretty simple do-it-yourself unit. Um, so you're not going to run into too many issues. They give you just a little, you know, advice on what to do. And here's the setup. You have your speed, mode, timer, power, and you can adjust the temp right on there. We have it connected to our power system here, and we're gonna go ahead and connect everything and then turn it on and test it out. Remember to open this up before you turn on the unit. All right, for us, we're gonna place it on like this and then place it inside the window. Then we're going to connect the tubing to the, uh, and this is how we're gonna set up our unit here, like this. Now this is going to slide in um, in here, but first you're going to want to connect your piping on it. I uh, find that's the easiest way to connect it. Again, I recommend opening it up the fully like this and then thread on the one piece and then thread on it to the back here, then connect it to the AC unit. Now ours slid from going left so slide it from the left side, and that's how it's going to connect. Now for the fun part. Maybe we 
going to turn this on here. There we go. If yours doesn't turn on, you might just have to push the reset button. Okay. Now we can see the watts. Okay, with it on the fan, looks like 91 watts for the fan. When we change the cooling, okay, so that's the temperature. So then we set it. So it automatically turns off when it hits that temperature. Let's set it for, looks like 61 to low, so you can set it for. And it will take the temperature down to whatever you set it for under this mode. Got fan speed. So we're looking at 500 watts um, under cooling mode. You can see there. And that is blowing out very, very cold. Very, very nice. But it's definitely coming out very nice. Let's change the setting here. Oh, ho, ho, there we go. Now it's really so we can feel it. Oh my word! Wow. I can feel it the whole way over here. I love how small and compact it is, but yet it packs a punch. So with the fan on high and the AC on. We're drawing about 560 watts. It might go up to about 600, 650 maybe, uh, after everything's said and done, because it's slowly climbing up as it's cooling. But you got timer, multiple different modes, very nice, and it, it is cold. Like, it's cold. So yeah, it's still climbing a little bit, so I'm guessing, I'm guessing 650, 750 somewhere in that range I'm actually really impressed like I know it's hard to tell in video but I, I'm really impressed because it it got so ice cold so fast like it's ice cold that's incredible another great unit I love that it's small we need to do our window thing a little bit better there but you know we just wanted to test it out always test out the unit before you go to the hassle of permanently or, or semi-permanently putting it in somewhere. But as you guys can see, you can take a power bank. So you got an RV that doesn't have a AC, no problem. Get yourself a power bank. And this power bank wasn't fully charged, so it's only can run 20 minutes at this maximum level um, with a 24% charge. So if we had it fully charged, we could definitely do a lot more, but very impressed with this. Very, very impressive.